journey, if you must know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to uh, Gentlemen's Club, Gentlemen's Club across country, and <laughs> spreading the gospel. So, uh, uh, single mothers and uh, nursing, nursing single students. Mothers. Yeah. So, it, I told my brother, my brother said, uh, I was at a strip club one night, he called me. Hey, I'm a strip club. He called me like three days later. I was in another city, a different uh, strip club. Hey, I'm a strip club. What are you doing, man? I said, I'm buying... I bought more strippers pre. So I bought so many strippers Priuses. I should get a. I should get a plaque from the EPA. <laughs> <laughs> You're like Oprah, you get yeah, a car. Yeah. You get a car. <laughs> you know, okay, so okay. S since you you brought up your brother, okay. Yes. Uh, well, I have seven brothers. Yeah. You exactly. assumed I was talking I about Chris. Sure. I did assume you were talking about Chris. You know yeah, what? He has you, more brothers. Okay. You watch yeah. the show, right? This this <laughs> this is what happened recently. Uh, God rest his soul. But Charlie Murphy would come in here all the time. Yes. And I would. Pr you're the perfect person. Like you're the only person like I talk to about this. Actually. You I guys would, are best friends I would, now. I would make sure that I would not bring up Eddie when Charlie Murphy was in here because I didn't want to seem like right. oh I'm just going to talk about your brother and I feel like that's disrespectful. Right. And then when he passed. I'm I'm like, man, there's a lot of questions I wish I would have asked him about his brother, but I still didn't, you know, so is, is that something that you are sensitive, sensitive No, not about? at all. Not no, at all. No. When I was growing up, my oldest brother, Charles, when I was growing up, my oldest brother was, uh, I think he was 18 years older than me. Yeah. And I was little Charles my whole childhood. So you you heard more about little Charles than I you was did. little Charles everywhere I went. I was I'm in the pool hall. Hey, oh, little right, Charles, right, go. Right. Yeah. People give me money. Little Charles, go to the store, get me a soda. Hey, little Charles, little Charles. So it's not, it's not a big deal. But, but with Chris, do you? I mean, when you do interviews and stuff, do you, is it stuff you always have to? No, because I know, like you said, it's, it's questions people want to know, and I'm probably the closest guy to yeah, you know, yeah, the information from. If How close are you and Chris in age? Uh, six years. Oh, Jeez, damn, six that's years really close. Because yeah. you got a uh, brother that's 18 years older than you. As Charles, Chris, Andre, Tony, Derek, Brian, Kenny, Quan, Andy, Jordan. Man, oh, that's a hell of a basketball team yeah. right there. I yeah. thought you just named Color Me Bad. <laughs> yeah. And what about Ronnie, Ronnie, Bobby, Bobby. Ronnie Bobby, Ricky, and Mike? Yeah. <laughs> hey, no, did, did your parents kind of push you guys towards entertainment? Or no, was... my mother was a school teacher. I actually said this on stage last night. My mother was a school teacher. So just imagine telling a woman that's a school teacher. From the south, that you want to do, yeah. be a comedian, you know. Oh. She was and, like, and was it because your brother? Is no, that... no, I wanted big brother does everything first. Yeah. yeah. So I just he, I, he could play football first. He could go in the street first. He could date first. He could drive first. Yeah. I'm not gonna not want to do it because big brother already did it. Yeah. yeah. It was. Hey, can I ask a question? Yes, sir. Um. So Charles was the oldest. Yes. Okay. And you're the you're the youngest. I'm like no no I'm I'm fourth. Oh, fourth. Okay. Yeah. Was everybody little Charles all the way to the bottom, or uh... no, no, no? I just I did everything he did. He was like my idol when I was oh, okay. growing up. So I was just like, so whatever what, he what did, he, I wanted to do. It. One of your little brothers be little Tony. Yeah, uh, my brother Brian was. Uh, my name is Anthony. Oh, okay. So in school, people will call my little brother Brian Little Ant Rock. Oh, oh yeah. man, that's yeah. like a rap name already. Yeah. Little, Ant Rock. Yeah. <laughs> little Ant Rock. You can't be a dentist with that name. Nah. Either. So nah. With, <laughs> with all your other brothers, I mean, uh, do they, what other like uh, what other things do they do? What, what other? Uh, I, I, one, my brother Andre owns a trucking company. Kenny works for Scholastic. Uh, Brian is a preacher. Wow. My sister works uh, in Charlotte with a with a. Children with autism. Oh, my other sisters in LA. She's an accountant. So they all have real jobs. Uh, yeah, I'm like yeah, you yeah, and yeah, your yeah, other brother. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. We, Tony, when we, you guys are together, who is the funniest? Uh, probably Kenny. Kenny's my favorite. Really? And if you, it depends on who you ask. Like uh, Brian will probably say my sister Andy. Chris will probably say me. Andre will say Chris. Uh, Chris you know, it's like who you, be I could imagine that gets real. Thanksgiving, oh, yeah. Thanksgiving gets brutal. is like you can't even eat. It's just like <laughs> yeah, food spit up everywhere. <laughs> were, your, were your parents like uh, very uh, a lot of discipline? Were they were they yeah. rough on you? Yeah, or? yeah, no. Dad was hard work. Work. Russ obviously worked. never watched. My father that. was yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> just like on the show, everybody hates Chris. That was my dad. Oh, okay. And my mom was you know. Black woman from the South. It's like you don't get anything without work. Or, you know, yeah. you work for everything you want in life. Yeah. Well, before the, before the break, I asked you if there was anything that you wanted me to ask you about. And you said, you can ask me about anything. I don't care. So yeah. I just, the, with what happened recently with Roseanne and, and the tweets and all that kind of stuff and yeah. her getting fired right away. What, what, what's your take on well, that? Well, this, I, I will always defend the comics right to say whatever they want to say. Yeah. Always. I will go to that. I will take that battle every day. But we all know the history of this country, and we know that the correlation between a monkey and a black person is something that you just don't ever, ever, ever do. You know what you're doing when you do that. You know what right. you're saying when you say that. So that one, I was like, I can't defend you on this one. Uh, do you believe when she said, well, I didn't even know. I thought she was white. She just looked like that. Uh, <laughs> really? the, the, that's what she really? said. She said, I thought she was white, and she looked like the ape in yeah. that particular Planet of the Apes movie because you know, they put the pictures together, and they, she said, well, look, I didn't even know she was. Uh, oh, I didn't hear that. I heard the Ambien made her racist. So. <laughs> <laughs> I heard that. I, no. didn't, I didn't know Ambien made you racist. Yeah. So it's, <laughs> just a little.
Yeah, <laughs> just, just a little bit. Yeah, well, just sleep just, better. It's, it's the yeah. age of outrage, though, right? Like, right. Oh, I, absolutely. I, I mean, and obviously that was a comment that was wrong. Um, but then, do you allow a person who? And I'm not defending her because I really don't know. Right. Um, uh, do you allow a person who, for many years, doesn't seem to have had a lot of racist past? Yeah, right? yeah, right. And you know, right. so I'm, I'm, I'm more about looking at something systematically, right? right? Is there systematic bigotry, racism, whatever it may be, before you know? smashing somebody's show because we have a show. Right. And I know there's many things that I've said here that could be taken the wrong way out of context. And then everybody loses their yeah. job. Yeah. And everybody loses I've said, so, I've said things racist. that in the, in the media that is like, that's why I don't have a show. Exactly. You know, <laughs> right, right. Yeah. Like, you know what? If so I would have said that, about, I probably could have, yeah. got, you know. Do you think about that? Do you I think do. about I, right I, before I, you tweet I, out something, before you, you know, put something out I, there? I don't. I think about it, but I don't give it that much thought. Yeah. Because at the end of the day, it's like, People are gonna go. Hey, he's a comedian. Right, right. You, know? you have that. You have. So that. I, I try to find that line where I won't go past this. Or you know, yeah. certain things are. I, I think, I think everything can be funny. No doubt. But I think some things you have to give it some time. Let it breathe a little. Let bit. it breathe. Yeah, yeah. You, yeah, you yeah. can't do it the next day. You know. Yeah. I, I've seen comics do nine eleven jokes now. You and that's you, you couldn't do it nine twelve. Uh, yeah. What is that? The uh, what was that movie with Gilbert Godfrey where he went out there and he did the uh, God the very famous oh, joke. Oh, the joke. Yeah. The um, God the 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 diplomats. The aristocrats. The aristocrats. aristocrats. The aristocrats. Yeah. 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 I saw Norm Macdonald in L.A. one night do a nine eleven joke and it was the room was on the floor. Oh, and really? I, I was like, man, balls. That yeah, was balls. But. It was years later, of course. Yeah. I was like, you couldn't have did that. That's you know. the comic's job, though, right? Right. You to, know? to wait it out, and what? then it's like, okay. The comic is the, the comic gets people over things. Yes. yes. Yeah. The comic helps you ease into back into a normal life. Yeah. Well, you the see, comic's the guy that's like, okay, it, it happened. Yeah. We can't walk around it all day. Let's right. go. Let's you watch go. a lot of news. We were just talking yesterday about how people are just sick of the news. Like the studies show that right. they're done with it. Six, 68% of <laughs> yeah. people are just sick of watching yeah. local news and national news. They're just sick of it all because it just seems to be very divisive and all bad news. Right. Do you talk politics? In, uh, I, yeah, you have to. As yeah. you got it. Comics are news reporters. Yes. So we just report the same stories with a comedic slant. What well, can it's they funny you say, say that because a texting service said, please ask him about what he thinks about Dennis Rodman. <laughs> Yeah, he's going over to North Korea with Trump. Is what, well, that was a rumor. <laughs> is he really? No, yeah, 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 yeah. 50 yeah, yeah, yeah. rebounds no, no, in the no. game, people. 50 <laughs> rebounds in the game. Let the man do he what is, he wants to do. You're right. He was an amazing basketball player. And, and, and a great and this Van Damme is, movie. And this is the tough thing, right? Something where you're like, I don't want to be saying this, but <laughs> Donald Trump and Dennis Rodman helped to find peace in Korea. <laughs> like, you can't, hey, you have to it, say it. It is what it is. Because it is what it is. Kim Kardashian got a lady off the death row. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the whole world's going to hell, we're, people. We are living yeah. your children. Yeah. We're living a Mad Libs right now. Yeah. I, can't wait, I can't wait till Memphis Bleak solves the Syria issue. <laughs> <laughs> And bleak, baby. And bleak, baby. In, his, in Dennis Rodman's defense, he probably knows more about foreign policy than Trump. That's true. Yes, well, yes, they, they yes. said uniquely, like, he's the only person that they, they have in common. Yeah, they, right. like, like, Dennis Rodman knows Donald Trump. Dennis Rodman knows Trump. <laughs> and, and he's going to make him feel more comfortable with yeah. the, the argument. Imagine you go back in time and tell yourself, President Trump and and Dennis Rodman yeah, are going to go to North Korea. You're like, there's no future. Yeah. That's not real. No, yeah, it's insane, man. It's going to be in the history books. Imagine yeah. your, kid, your kids 15 years from now, like, wait, what? Yeah. <laughs> they studied for a test, and the answer is Dennis Rodman. I can't, I can't wait till they solve this North Korea thing, because I want the airworms to come back. North Korea edition. Hell you know? yeah, I love With those. The zipper? Yes. Uh, by the way, Tony Rock will be at the improv all weekend long. Uh, so uh, when, you, when, you're, when you're on tour, do you get to plan out? Where you're going, or do you have a like manager that handles that for you? No, or? I get a bunch of like I'll get like 20 offers, and I'll pick and choose which ones I want to do, okay, and then we try to do them strategically. Like this week, I'm here, Orlando. Next week, I'm in Tampa. Yeah, so oh, like, okay. that was perfect. I so you're staying in town now? I'm going to Miami for three oh, days. Nice. And I'll come back up. You know, that's, that's perfect. But you have so many best friends here. Yeah, <laughs> we have better looking women. Us in Jackson Hole. You said that. <laughs> <laughs> Jackson Hole. Where, where, where's, where's, where's one of your least favorite places that you've that you've performed? Yeah, we'll turn that off on YouTube. Uh, so we Chatt don't Chattanooga, Tennessee. Oh, oh really? Oh, really? Why? Is, why, is why? That? Uh, Cincinnati number one. Oh. oh. Oh, Cincinnati number one. Is it because they don't get the jokes? They're or? just miserable people. Oh. <laughs> they're chilly, they're just, stupid. They're just mean, like, just in this, like, I, just walking around the city. It's like, why is nobody smiling? <laughs> <laughs> I really yeah, been I there. Yeah. Cincinnati. I was in a club one night. And said, I did the show and then went to a club. And, you know, with me and I think it was Joe Fox will be yeah. that time also. And we're walking through the club, going to the table. And there's two guys standing in the middle of the dance floor just talking. And I said, excuse me, brother. I'm, I'm going right here. And he looks back at me and doesn't move. And I said, excuse me, bro, I'm going right here to this table. And he goes, I'm not moving. 
And I'm like, all right, well, you have a good night. Yeah. 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 And I'm like, that's just the whole city right there. Yeah. <laughs> They're just miserable. That's why your Bengals suck. Yeah. <laughs> Their that, flag is just a scowling face. Yeah. Get out of our town. <laughs> are, you, are you a sports guy? Do you, uh... Steelers for life. Steelers. Oh, oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. If you're we, we talking football, Steelers. There we go. And what about basketball? What do you think of this series? Brooklyn Nets. Uh, yeah, you, you know, they, they, they've they sold a lot of picks. they got some good stuff coming up. I don't up. see you yelling or, you're Orlando Magic. I'm a, I'm a diehard. Look, the Nets and the Magic, we're like, uh, yeah, we, yeah, we're, we're yeah, literally yeah. Living in the same basement. I went to, in the I went to uh, 180 last night. Oh, what's uh, it? it's pretty cool, right? It's, it's really very yeah. cool. And I'm like, you know what? How nice this would be if the Magic were winning. Yeah, we're gonna oh, get yeah. 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 If they were a good yeah. team, like the party up here would be so yeah. lit. It's gonna be there. Look, as a Brooklyn Nets oh, fan, yeah. you understand the next no. season is the best season. No. You know? yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's in the history books. They're gonna go. That's no way. The Orlando Joe Magic <laughs> had a winning well, yeah. season. We went to the finals in 09. <laughs> yeah. I can believe Trump and uh, yeah. yeah, Rodman can. Yeah, Dennis Rodman's gonna come back and fix things. Yeah. Dennis yeah. Robbins like looks like a job for. Yeah. <laughs> come on, get Sam Bowie over here. Let's do this. <laughs> hey Tony Rod, we, every you, time Tony. you come in, we appreciate Thank it, buddy. Thank you so much. Thanks, uh, Tony, you man. Thanks for coming in. Go see him at the Improv. Yes. He'll be there all weekend long. Of course, when you're back in town, come say hi. Absolutely, to us. absolutely. And you can check all this out. By the way, we're live on our YouTube channel, so do that and follow him on Instagram. Uh, Tony underscore Rock, Twitter Tony Rock, and go to Rock the World TV on YouTube. I have some cool videos from me oh, around awesome. the world touring. Oh, and stuff. awesome! Cool. Yeah. Appreciate that. All right, don't go anywhere. You're listening to the Monster of the Morning.